Hey, this is David and Jeff, and uh, well, today we're looking at a 1959 Etzel, and we're gonna see if we can make this run. We found a set of Etzel keys, so uh, we're gonna put them in the ignition and see if it uh, turns the tumbler. Upside down, because it's Ford. Oh, yes, sir. Look at that. It turned? It turned. Does it feel like it's got the return for the starter side of it, too? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a little stiff, but it's it's All there. Right. Let's uh, let's start by... Obviously, we're going to get the air cleaner out of the way just so we can you know, look at the carburetor. Um, I say we throw a battery we get, in we it. we got to see if it turns over. Yeah, see if it turns um, over. Do we want to try to put a wrench on it? Uh, let's start with three quarter, three quarter and a, a 13, 16. That's my guess. Okay, first gauge is wrong. Oh, man, that's two failures in a row. Man. Seven eighths then. I'd probably give you the too big. Those seven eights? 15, 16. Oh, that was your guess, wasn't it? Damn, I lost. Mm, okay, well, since we can, I can, maybe, well, I ain't moving. Oh, yeah. Turns. Not too bad. All right, let's, uh, no, I'd Let's, let's, I mean, go through this like we... Pull the plugs. Yeah, pull the plugs. Let's see what they look like. Not necessarily, well, we'll put fresh plugs in it regardless. Yeah. Uh, but let's throw, get some of that oil down there so it's free when we turn it the first time. Let's see what yeah. the starter does. All right. Starter, we have to have the starter to, to turn it over fast enough to start it. I'd like to also put the battery in and see if we got power at the key, because that would help. Yep, 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 yep. And of course, Verify that we're getting power up to the ignition. Yeah, yeah. That just stops us from having to jump a bunch of stuff. Otherwise, we'll jump it. No big deal. I don't think it's going to complain if we jump jump it. Whoa. Let's get this out of here. Same plug that glorious two-barrel holly. First one's broke loose. This thing was burning nice when they shut it off. Shoot. No oil or nothing. You know the plug wrench, you can't get this one back out. Eight plug wrenches. Wow. Since the gas tank's gone, I almost wonder if the gas tank had got a hole in it and that was it. I mean, it seems kind of petty, but again, at the time, at the time, who knows what a gas tank cost? Right. You wouldn't think it'd be more than the cost of the car, but we got a brand. So new. far, we got an AC plug, a tractor. I mean, a champion plug. It's one thing that seems to be typical in these car, like yeah, mix, like random mix match plugs. Yeah. You know, as far as the plugs that came out, I mean, it, it looks like this engine was running fairly uh, efficient. Right. I see nothing that says, you know, I could drop the valve or anything like that. Nothing. Again, so far, the only thing I can see wrong with the car, honestly, is the fuel tank's missing. Yeah. But, whatever. Uh, okay, well. I got to spray my side. Yeah, spray your side. Watch that, that straw likes to come out, by the way. All right. Why don't you, while you got that, spray around the carb, like on that throttle plate. Linkages. Yeah, and maybe even a little down this. Am I hitting it over here? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's hitting oh, the carb. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're hitting something there. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Here, let me, here, let me see that can. It's like brand new. We'll hit wide open throttle now. Cool. Well, I say uh, let me hook up the uh, trigger. 
see if you got spark. You want to trigger it from there or you want to trigger it from the key? Oh, uh, yeah, we could do we'll, the key. We'll hit it. Let's see if the key works. Okay. Uh, yeah. Positive first. Be positive first. Where's this one even go? This this is a little skeptical. <laughs> Where's that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you think it's skeptical because, what, there's only half the wire there? <laughs> or is it because it's green? Eh, both. Okay. Is it loose or just... That's what I wanted to see. Yes. Yeah. Is. Yeah. is it on tight? Yeah, it's on we'll tight. Go so for it, it might be all right. Pretty, pretty thin ground cable, man. Really thin. I mean, factory-wise, even the positive one. Let's see what we get. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's spin her a few times then. Yeah, do it. Just feel if you got any uh, compression, you know, like just blowing out of the cylinder. Yeah. Right? Good? Go. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. I got compression on my side. All right, good. Well, if we got half the compression, we're fine. We can run it for. Yeah. Yeah. You got a tail light. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I hear blinkers. You got a blinker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, front and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Uh, Unless you want to try the radio, what do you want to do next? I want to see if we got spark at the coil. See if we got spark. Let's see if we got power to it. I'll grab that uh, test light. Oh, and we gotta we gotta we yeah. gotta clean these, clean the points up. Yeah, they're pretty, they're pretty dusty. A little 400 grit. Do just what we need. Or we'll swap the points. One of the two. Ooh. You want to swap the other set? Pretty white. Not really. <laughs> Not until I know we don't get any contact. All right. <laughs> Guess. Can pop that key on? On. You sure? Am I sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I don't like the answer I'm getting here. Nothing, eh? Not so far. All right, no. so we went through and we cleaned up the points, and now uh, now I'm basically checking with the test light for power going to the points from the ignition. So far, I'm not getting any power. So basically, it should light up like that if I got power. Um, when we know we get power off the key to the solenoid. You want, you want to check that real quick? Yeah, to the line, yeah. Okay. Key on. Yep. Okay, so that's... I'm not getting anything at the solenoid. So that power's not going... Right? That means it's not going through the solenoid. Yeah. Huh? Is it just connections? It might be just connections. Because when I touch on the outside of this, I can't get it to. Right, right. So the key triggers the solenoid for the solenoid to, uh, to send, power. send power to the distributor. Where you're not getting power between those two, which in that case, we can always just jumper wire, honestly, right from there to the coil. Yeah, we could. Key on now? No. How about now? Yep, key's on. Okay, makes that nothing. Um, it's not it's not jumping past the solenoid. What's weird is I can't. You can't get power at that terminal. Either one of them, and you know we're getting it because it kicks the starter. Bump the starter. Mm, I got nothing now. Oh, we broke it? Hmm. 
Or we break it. Not sure. That someone would give up the ghost on us? It's possible. Ooh. Better? Yeah, I think she gave up the ghost. Not so, mine. There we go. Let's do this. Let's force some juice across. We're gonna find out if it's the solenoid or the. Not the solenoid. So the key, either the key has decided to give us problems or what not, but what we can do is we can go right to the coil. Basically, that's hot wire in the coil. And we can come, just because I want to test probe it. All right, so now we have power to the coil. Now we should have power up here, yep. which we do. All right. Okay, now can you see, when I move this, you seeing any sparks in there? Mm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we got a connection. Yep. Okay. So it's making now. All right, so now we should have spark. We're just, we're just hot wired, that's all. Yeah. Um, well, we'll hook up our push button to spin it. Okay. That'll resolve that. I'm gonna leave this hooked up. Um, that'll resolve our key problem. Okay. Throw plugs in it. Yeah, throw plugs in it and drop fuel down the throat. See what happens. See what we make it go fart, boom, bang. All right, Jeff, I'm feeling good about this. It spins. I'm feeling good. You're not feeling good about it? You just feel good? I think she'll run. I do. Oh, come on. Let's get this. Well, we're going to finish putting these plugs in on my side. And we have spark to the, or we have now power to the coil. We have spark across the points. And uh, we're going to add some fuel to it and give it a go. We have all the ingredients for it to fire. Let's run this right over here. I got it here just in case. Yep, you're good. I can hear the pump. Sounds like it's in the... Oh. <laughs> you see the mist coming out of it? <laughs> yeah. There's vapors coming out of the sight bowl over there. Right. Oh, there it is. Oop, there it is. Now, we'll know if it shuts off because right here is the vent Yeah. for it. So, here's where I think we're at. I think we're ready to make some fire. I think so. <laughs> so, we have plugs in it. We have um, power jumpered over to the coil that I just still can't believe it, but the coil's good in this one too. So, coil's good, show's good at least, enough to fire it up. God knows how many miles it would make going down the freeway, but probably not many. Um, points are making connection and we fuel got pump. fuel right to the carburetor. Yep. Now, and it's, and it's squirting. And it's squirting. My bet is the needle and seat's probably not so good. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll have to watch it like right here. This is where it's going to boil up out of there before it's going to go out of this where the bees are, you know, the mud daubers have a whole <laughs> nest in. Yeah. Um, but it'll, it'll come right out here. The only time that closes is when it, when it cracks more than you know, quarter throttle, which I don't, I don't think we'll need more than a quarter throttle here. No, I don't think so either. Um, <clears throat> in this situation. So I think with that, uh, without further ado, yeah, let her rip. I'm going to still actuate this, but yeah. Ready? Yeah. I hear the pump. Let's, uh, before we get 
anything tired. Let's make sure we have any power. We actually have spark going. We never did that. We got that. You can either. You want a visual with the spark plug? That make more sense? Yeah, I think so. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. If I scream anyway. loudly, that means it's got a connection through the me. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Nope. Got no sparky. No sparky sparkerson. Here, let me rub it a little bit. And and maybe we don't have any connection through. We can check the ground through here real quick too with the test light. Try it one more time. Okay. All right. Well, we know we're good there. Strange clicking sound I'm hearing. I hear it too. It almost sounds like a valve. It might be. Clackety clackety. Yeah. Here, let me see that. Let me see if I have. Uh, uh, it's gonna be hard to check that. Put flip that and put it on your power, please. Let's see if I even have a ground where I'm trying to get ground from. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, so that part's good. I wonder if we have a condenser that's not so happy. Could. All right? No. Um. I'll take a fresh one. Get a fresh one. Yeah, I have a fresh oh, one. Oh, look at you, Johnny, on the spot. Dang, that was a quick run of the parts store. Thurlby's, Thurlby saves the day again. Good job, Jason. Okay. With the condenser replaced, let's see if that helps give us some spark. Huh. No? Mm -mm. Go again. No, got nothing. Why don't we have spark? Let me see a test light. Okay. No, there's nothing there. Maybe the cap's no good. Well, the status is, is we're trying to figure out why I didn't have spark on. Is this number two over here? No, it's five. Five. I'm number five. And uh, in doing that, we had a little sputter, whatever. So we decided just to flop on the new cap. We know we have power going through the coil or through the points. Check that with the test light. We know that's functioning. Now we're just gonna, well, we're gonna squirt the daylights out of it, and hopefully it'll draw enough fuel in. See if she'll fire. And fire. Ready? Sure. <laughs> Boy, it's trying to. You can hear it. Yeah. Um. I wonder if we should shut the choke. No, I can shut the choke. I'm sure it won't hurt. <laughs> Don't have much draw though. No. Uh oh. Maybe that clicking is a it's valve, a valve, but it should get by one valve, you know, to start it. Can you, uh, what's holding this from? There we go. I got it. It doesn't seem like a best place to be, but uh, it'd be fine. It goes up. You like your eyebrows? Well, I don't have many anyway. <laughs> there you go. It's starting to eat our battery up. Big old girl, but takes a little more juice, eh? Hmm. Okay, I'm going. Oh, yeah, I got spark. You got spark? Yep. Let me see if I got spark now. What were you going to, head bolt? I was just going right to the manifold. Mm -hmm. Do you want a shadow? Yeah, I want a shadow. There you go. Oh, yeah, now I'm finally. It's weak, but I got it. Yeah, it's weak, but. Okay, so we're not getting fuel to the plugs. I agree, because they're dry. All right, so do we douse the living daylights out of it? Did we put some down the cylinders last time? Nope, but we could. We could put some in the cylinders. At least to let's leave the two out we have out. Let's put, uh, I might 
Somebody would have filled this bottle up and we could have put it in there. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> a prima donna over here. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Let's do that. Trying. Come on. Oh, she's so close. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. More? More. Go. Man, it's right there. You're right there. I still think it's fuel. Well, I don't know how much more fuel I can put after it. Unless we got too much and it's just flooded out. Guess we can go after that aspect. You know, I'm gonna pull a different plug. Okay. Because I know that there's gas in this one. I'm gonna pull the windshield wiper line out of the way. Well, now it's not gonna start. Spray, Jeff. Yeah. Man, it won't. It's not even. Uh, it's not yeah. even catching anymore. That side's ticking. This side. You want me? I, I would be curious to pull the valve that, cover. Let's blow that side off and get that valve cover off. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Maybe there's something. Yeah. Maybe they deliberately parked it. Right. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you know what it's doing? It's not opening the valves. Yeah. That's why. Because the hydraulic lifters have no oil in them. So what it's doing is, well, as you roll over, it can't open the valves. So here's where we're at. We have spark, we have fuel. Problem is, we don't have any valve action meaning it looks like they're opening up about that much which not nearly enough to draw in the fuel to the spark plug so pulling off this valve cover we verified that turning the engine over you can see and they're just barely moving at the end of the day the lifters are not pumped up so we're going to pull the distributor and we're going to um, prime it with a drill and basically see if we can get those lifters to pump up because then that will allow the lifters to do what they're supposed to do and that's transfer the energy from the camshaft in open and close valves. Then we got a better chance of it firing up because it's trying, it wants to. Yeah. It just wants a little more love. All right. Why don't I don't you, have a marker. Why don't you love the nest out of that right there behind the uh, uh -huh. distributor? <laughs> Sent you right there. Yeah. See how that is? Well, that's all right. And I don't think we need to open up another valve cover. We'll just, we'll do everything based on this one. Um, I don't. Where are you? We yeah. can blow it out if you want. I'm just going to blow it everywhere. That's what I'm thinking. You want to blow it everywhere? Yeah. Okay. Let's throw the air clear. I mean, I'll put my hand over it and I'll shut my eyes. We'll need to see that, so. And I gotta go backwards, because it's a Ford. It's got oil pressure. Can feel it picking up right away. 
We just spun it more though the Yeah. Than we have. You wanna hold that for yeah. just a second? I wanna I wanna see oil. Come up these shafts. Whoa. Ready? Go. Shit, I got oil up here already. That's fast. Yeah. Dude, that's all the difference in the world. These are already tight. I'm not even joking. Look at that. Just letting you know your side's gonna smoke. I actually, I like that little pan they got there. I see that, that is pretty slick. All right, I am gonna call that good though. I think that was more than plenty. Uh, yeah, set that back in there. What we'll do is we'll spin them once the distributor's back in there. Yeah. Before we try to start it, we'll just spin it with the with the starter and see the difference. In case you know, maybe the maybe the lifters just won't hold. That's a possibility. Yeah, it is. But. I'm smelling gas now. I'm smelling ether. All right. Yeah. That looks a lot better because these, I can't push them down now. Before I shoot, I push that one a half inch. All right. Boy. How much are they moving? They don't move a ton still, but they're moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're moving a lot yeah, more than what they were. More. Yeah. So that, that, was, that was a good, that was the right move. I agree. Right there. Okay, here we go. You see that hop? I did. It's not tightened down all the way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ready? Get some more. I'm still not drawing a lot. You don't hear the clicking though. No. Hold the throttle open. Where's all the smoke coming from? Starter. At this point. And there's oil all down the back of everything. I won't do anything. I know I'm just uh, choking a dead horse here, but I just feel like the spark isn't enough. I feel like it's not. Well, we already moved the points anyway. We got it zeroed. Let's put points in it. Yeah. Just not strong enough spark to do it, I guess. Yeah. I can, I can buy that. Okay, ready? Do it. Hmm, in this last ditch effort, I pulled a, a random plug over here and it's not, it's not as wet with gas as it should be, especially with how much David just poured down the the uh, haphazard. What you can say, and so <laughs> possibly, maybe something is blocking the passages inside the intake. So uh, we're gonna pull the carburetor off real quick and just take a peek down inside and see what we see. What you're saying is we refuse to give up. I don't want to give up, but. And I did shoot the carburetor spring all the way over there somewhere. I have no idea where it went. <laughs>
There's gas there. Where? Is All it, is down it? the intake manifold. Let me see. Do that again. I mean, we're obviously pouring it in. I mean, yeah. I'll, I'm going to say do it, right? Yeah. <sighs> you said you wanted to fire, right? Just fire? That'd make my day so far. Here, let me make a carburetor. All right. The only problem is I'm the carburetor and the starter. That might not be a bad idea, though. There he is. Just in case, I mean, you know, pour it all over my hand and everywhere else if you can. And let's see what it does. You really want me to pour it on your hand? Huh. It's got very little pulse. Yeah. I, we got to be in the spot where we have like no compression. Well, that could be doing it, because it could be not it could be not you know mixing yeah. the air and fuel correct, and it's well just not not drawing anything right. in. Um, I say we do this. I say we call our day, take the batteries back, get everything charged up, bring a compression tester back, and check it. Here we go. Sixty. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. It's only one. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yep. Seventy. Hey, we're moving up. He stops at 65. 55. Okay. So you were 55 pretty much all the way across. And you probably were too, other than watching just that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we're at half the compression I would expect. I would expect 100 to 110 at a, you know, as a general baseline. Mm -hmm. Be higher than that. Yeah. Um, but it's consistent. That's the thing that kind of confuses you. me, right? Yeah, yeah. Because that says it consistently got worse. That's not normal. No. And the, but no, and the, it can't. I mean, it was burning consistent, so maybe Yeah, I mean, the plugs at the time looked like they were yeah. coffee with cream. Yeah. Which is kind of what you want. Exactly. So, I guess, in my mind, we got, if we got low compression, and if, we're, if our spark is weak, marginal at all, it'll struggle, right? Yeah. We have a brand new coil. So, yeah. That's the last thing. Let's throw a brand new coil after it. It's right up on top. We don't have to take that one out of the mount even. Just hook it up, leave one plug out, and check it for spark. Ooh. What? Huh? Gonna lose him? Huh? As I drop it down in the, under the ground. We good? Yep. Okay, here we go. That's a better spark. Is it? It's better. Um, it's not like a blue, but it's not a faint orange either. Okay. All right, well. I, I think that coil is still good, the old one, but because it ohms out well, who knows? Yeah, I, I, I don't maybe disagree not, with you. Maybe it's not saturating well enough. I guess we'll throw the plugs in again. And give it one more shot. One more shot. All right. And that's it. That's just, this is his last chance. Here, I'll hold this. You gotta be running that throttle though, right? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Let's see if we'll get a fart out of it. Spray some more of that in there. Not really. 
Still getting that vapor coming up. Is that is that well, coming out? I'm getting it here too, right? We're getting it's puffing out of the crankcase. Yeah. Just won't draw fuel in. And why is that? Why won't it draw I, fuel? The only thing, I mean, really the only thing left is the intake, the runners. Right? It's got enough compression to, to, to at least make it do something. Yeah. And if it's got enough compression, it should have enough draw. I agree. But if it's drawn, if that air's getting, maybe it's drawn all the fuel into the crankcase. I think that's what the vapor is. You know? Mm-hmm. Does the oil smell like gas yet? Because we put enough gas in it yesterday, I would think, to make a change. Not necessarily. Mm -hmm. Well, some, maybe. Here, smell this. Yeah, a little bit. Well, I mean, look at it sitting here. Call it smoldering. And there's no reason for it to do that. No. Other than... Other than other than it's, cre it's We're not creating cre a lot of pressure inside. Right. And then, you know, it, the pipe still could be plugged there. I mean, it's... Yeah, you could still be plugged up high, but you're still getting air out of them. So it's not dead plugged. It's not dead. No. Um, yeah, it's just not... It's not drawn. It's got to be leaking. Intake manifold's got to be leaking it out so it can't draw into the cylinder. But then we still put fuel right in the cylinder and it does the same thing, so. Doesn't seem like there's any way around it. Well, I hate to say this, and if you don't feel my disappointment, then, well, I'm not conveying things very well because this is discouraging. But we're gonna move on from this Edsel. It's whammied, I don't know. I don't know, maybe that's why it's parked. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, who knows what could be internally wrong. Yep. But for those of you that are catching up because you didn't, you just jumped to the middle of the video, uh, we have spark, we have fuel, we have a clear exhaust, we have a clear intake, and we have some compression. It's 50-60. I know that's not great, but we have some. Um, that's all, that's what we know, and we don't get any we're getting puff out of the crankcase. Yeah, nothing out. Of, not, no, not even a backfire. Nothing. Put fuel into the chambers. We get nothing. Uh, Plugs stuck. also never are as wet as they should be with the amount of gas that yeah, we it's put like, down it. Yep. Yeah, it looks like the fuel is not getting, not dragging in. Yeah. So, minus completely tearing it down to find out what the problem is, or going deeper, 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 deeper. We, uh, we're gonna move on. Agreed. We're gonna move on. But take this time right now, go down in the comment section and tell me everything I did wrong or any suggestions of something to come back to because we're only eh, two miles away the crow flies from our shop and we can always sneak back over and try some miracle cure that you guys think of. I'm sorry, I don't mean to say it that way. If you have some knowledge that, uh, you know, that we're missing, by all means, throw it in the comments. We'll ponder it and see if it makes sense to come over and try it again. Just because we didn't make this one work doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and try to get something fired up that's, shoot, sitting around a corner from your house or maybe in your own backyard. But in the meantime, get out in the shop, go get your work done, or get a Jeff. Hey, Jeff, we might as well take all our parts with us. Sounds good. Or get a Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> At least I didn't say Jeffrey. That's true. <laughs>